Oh. People are like, oh, my camera's gross. I'm like, eh, it's, I've seen worse. So I should not touch my face after I touch that. No, oh, that's just broken. God damn you, Harbor Freight. Uh, here we have another box of random garbage. Mostly parts and things that make me sad. That's a full A1. Ooh, buddy. Uh, I don't know. Uh, this is part of my workspace, part of my living space. It's kind of the, the same thing. I thought it's about time that uh, kind of give you a little look-see at how the sausage is made. One of my favorite cameras, one of the most beautiful cameras in my opinion, is the uh, Pentax H3. Top shutter speed of 1 1,000th M42. Screw mount, beautiful front plating. I have this uh, H3 somewhere in my residence and I would like to find it and I thought what better way to do that than to make a video about how much of a hoarder I am. I, this is kind of backfiring. All right, and we're back. Coffee got cold, but that's okay. Welcome, this is the nightmare closet. I have here what I can only assume is promotional material for one of the instant cameras. Uh, and as you can see, there's all these really good uh, renditions of different things you can do with it. And I, I kept that here in memoriam of all of the great things that you can potentially do with the nightmares here. However, there is an exception. That would be this box right here. In it is a Kiev 88, which I don't want to touch because I think it is just a biohazard. And uh, this Canonette, which I don't think I made a video on, but let's just let's just run over it real quick. Uh, this is the kind of stuff that like I'm used to seeing. So, so yeah. And people are like, oh, my camera's gross. I'm like, that's eh, I've seen worse. I own one of these, so that's cool. This would be where I suspect the S3, the H3, has hit itself because. I just have like an inkling of a feeling. I don't know, it could be, it could be elsewhere. That is possible. I should not touch my face after I touched that. That was a stupid decision. Um, I've got gloves. So my thought would be that in the process of moving, I might have like combined it with other cameras. And then due to that, It has now become uh, interwoven in the nightmares. But, truthfully, I don't know. Um, this is also just kind of an excuse to make a little video to talk about the consequences of my own actions, which I feel like I'm doing more so lately. Here we have a box of uh, parts. There's no full camera in here, but there are parts. One, this box in particular is one I'd like to point out because it's a uh, AE1 and it's one that it's like, oh, I could do something with this because I could. I just, it needs the uh, piece that I've talked about right there. And other than that, I think it works. Yeah, it's shutter squeal, but it works well enough. Um, so one of these days, we'll have a good camera out of it. And that is why I like to hold on to these things because there are good things here. I have a big box of parts. I have multiple, multiple ice cube trays of parts. Like many, many of them. And so I'm moving those out of the way first because then we'll get to the nitty gritty, which is, that was a little unceremonious. Let me, let me try that again. Oh geez, no, oh, that's just broken. God damn you, Harbor Freight. I really wanted to get a Harbor Freight sponsorship for this channel. I am like one of their biggest supporters. Like if Harbor Freight is ever in like dire economic need, I will be there. They will like, they will form like a, like a committee to thank me. There will be a banquet involved in a very classy uh, hotel bar suite in Omaha, I'd imagine. That just seems like Harbor Freight speed. Anyway, big fan of Harbor Freight. However, I got their like toolboxes to fill up with cameras and this one just kind of broke on me. So maybe, maybe hold it on the banquet. Um, 
Okay, let me let me show you what I'm looking at here. This little look-see. So we have here a collection of cameras. These are all in varying degrees of working and not working. We have a EOS 650 here with the classically sheared off uh, selector. A lot of T50s, as you'll notice, a lot of T70s, as you'll also notice, there's a Nikon F1, which is uh, very gross. Let me see if I can... But I don't think it would be in here, because I think this is more of like... Oh, look at that relic. It's SP10 Pentax. That's about the status of this box, I would say. There's not a whole lot of good in here. There's my Pentax 645s. And yeah, that's about it. So not in here, fortunately, because the hell? What the hell? No thanks, dude. I actually think that works too, but I'm not willing to find out. Get that in there, and then we'll just shut that knife. But it's nice to know that I was not so foolish as to put one of my prized possessions in with such disgusting things. Oh, this is actually great. I need this. Look at that. Moving on to the next, we have this, which I think is just a box of tops. That worked out really well for me. P30. P30. OM10. Some probably important part. Here's an interesting one. You got the... Uh, Nikon 51.4, and this is this came in combination with the F1. But if you'll notice the blades, I don't know if we can focus on in there, the blades are so rusted shut that they actually don't move. And one day we'll take this apart, and it'll be a good laugh. Um, but I just like it's one of those things where. There has to literally be nothing in the world going on. I'm like, okay, now I'll look at it. And that's how much of a priority it is for me. Next up, is that got heavy? Oh man. So this box is a bit more of like production level cameras that might just need a few tweaks here or there to be ready. I do know that it's not in here, although there is. Look at that, from the depths. This is what I'm talking about, the camera kind of like this. Don't look at the mess behind me there. Um, I know it's not in here because I did just kind of add a lot of those cameras. I did just add a bunch of those cameras into the box. So I have a pretty fresh memory of what's going on in here. Uh, here we have another box of random garbage. Mostly parts and things that make me sad. Definitely not in here. There's a comb though, that's exciting. Interesting. Here is my upstairs neighbor's sewage pipe. Anyway, here we have a box of point and shoots. All kind of broken. Oh, there's a Konica in here. Like the SLRs. There's actually, oh, oh there's two Konicas in here. Oh, I'm, I, I've lied to you. This is a box of all point and shoots and two Konica SLRs. But still, all garbage. Not what I'm looking for. Last and least, we have this last box here. I think what this is, is uh, six, seven parts, an SRT, my old Instax that never worked. white. I kind of prefer the pink one, to be honest. Is that it? That's a full A1. Ooh, buddy. I'll have to dig in here again later. Uh, I don't know. And I think that is it. I think that's all we got. Okay. So on one hand, it's not here, which is kind of a bummer because that was kind of where I was thinking it was. On the other hand, though, it's not here, and that makes me happy because that means that it's not I had to spend the last six months surrounded by just 
absolute nightmares and garbage. But if Harbor Freight still wants to uh, pony up some sponsorship money, you, you know how to call me. You don't, but you know, you can figure it out. There is uh, beauty in simplicity. And one of my very good friends, uh, Gage, I've talked about him a few times, he's been on the channel. Good guy. He's only had like one or two cameras at any given time. And I love that. I don't know if I will ever be able to do that because I do like cameras. But the idea of simplicity has always appealed to me. And that's something that I would hope to achieve more in my life because this is too much. And it would be nice just to have like one or two things that are like reliable that I can go to. And to me, that is kind of what the K1000 is. That's kind of what the H3 could be. It would just be something that looks gorgeous on a shelf and then I can also use occasionally to take photos and stuff like that. And in the meantime, like it'll look good. It'll make me happy to look at as opposed to this, which uh, haunts my dreams. Well, all that to be said, I, I don't know. I don't know really what the takeaway is here. What I can say now is definitively on camera. I have went through all of the stuff. The H3 is not here. There is a, another pile of things over there which uh, needs some going through because it's a lot of negatives, like my film negatives and other like little random accessories that I've held on to for a while. It could be in there or it is lost to the sands of time. And if it is, so it is. Oh my God, ugh. Um, what I will always have is the memories of the camera, the pictures I took of it, and uh, the friends we met along the way. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, this like deep dive into the recesses of the tragedies of the ballad of my repair experiences. Um, I don't know. Also, all the stuff that you saw was mine. I promise if you send me stuff, I do not throw it in a box into the nightmare closet. This is like all of my own things, so don't worry. This is probably not great uh, PR for my company because it's like, hey, check out all this fucking garbage. But I promise this is just, these are all kind of parts. And then the ones that do kind of work still require a lot more. I have a nice, prettier setup for other things that we'll go over on another day. But anyway, for now, thank you very much for watching. I uh, appreciate it. As always, make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel. Catch you on the next one.